Yes, indeed. Hey, we live, man. Hey, I yes, want to introduce sir. everybody, man, to my player partner, man. It's your player partner, Bobby A.A. A. Jones. Before we segue into the interview, man, I want to give a major shout out to um, I've been forgetting to mention our homie um Stony the Dealer. Stony the Dealer, I want to give a shout out to Stony the Dealer, Lil Draws, Block Rob, um, Fetty DeMarco, the homie Big Soldier just dropped that song Water. That motherfucker is hot. Go check that out, man. Who, who else, man? Am, am I forgetting anybody? Oh man, we got so many different people, man. We got the Jacks, man. Where you go? You back oh, in there, yeah. man? I don't know, man. It took me backstage, man. You feel me? They watching. Hopefully, we blow. Oh man, we front and center right now, man. We front and yeah. center, man. Everybody yeah. starting to mac in, man. Hey, man, I got my player partner, man. Gangster philosopher extraordinary, you feel what I'm saying, man. We gonna uh, we we gonna really get into it today, man. This I this is I believe in this is gonna be top three in uh my interviews. You feel what I'm saying? It <laughs> oh, better be. Yeah. You hear me? They oh, better be. Yeah. I'm talking shit. You know yeah, I'm man. We gonna, we gonna we we gonna most definitely talk. We gonna we we most definitely gonna talk some S H I T, man. But we gonna uh, yeah. sprinkle it with some knowledge and some lived experience as well. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? You know, just yeah. just giving them a better understanding into the individual. You know, what I mean, the gangster, the philosopher, extraordinaire. You know, demon man. Um, where did you grow up? Oh um, man, I did a little bit of time in L.A. Watch California. What the f man? What where, where, where you go, Cuz? Yeah, I don't know why I keep sending me backstage. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's not my time or something, but I doubt that. Man, this is totally your time to shine, man. Yeah, Because yeah. you got a message, man. Like, see, this is the thing, homie. The type of individual that you are... Yes, sir. You're not typical. You feel what I'm saying? No, no. Yes, sir. Meeting the individual of your caliber, man, it's a rarity. So it's always a blessing just to be in your presence and just conversing with you, man. Because you always, you always offer a unique perspective... And one thing I can say about you since we've been interacting, and even back in the days, homie, mm. you 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 not you you according to my knowledge, you're not a liar, homie. And one thing you don't mm. do, you don't you you don't fabricate and you don't sugarcoat, and that's one thing I respect about you. Even situations that Appreciate I done had, that. nah, it's all love. Even situations that I done had personally, man, I'm ready to, you know, resolve back to that. You know what we used to, ah, this brother, man, what the f <laughs> Hold on, let's get him back in there. Let's get him back in there, let's get him back in there. Me. It's the internet, P. They hating on me, man. But the game is to be told and not sold and sold and not to be told and however else you do it. You feel me? This is the truth. God. Hey, I don't know what's going on with the homie um internet, but we may have to um postpone this amazing um man, man. I'm telling you, y'all in for a treat today. The interview with this brother, man, is gonna be next level. Let's let's try it four more times. Four more times. We're gonna give it four more tries. All right, let me see if it's if it's me. All right, okay. we got a comment. Devon dedication. She say, What's good, homies? Peace and blessings, Queen. What's the deal with you? Oh, yes. this is the homie little dame dog, man. What's going oh, yeah, on, man. dude? He out there on that road, man. Drive safe, man. To all my brothers that's out there doing something, making a difference. And oh, he gone again. Hold on. Let me see something. Brother Justin Smith. What's good? <laughs> hey, this is my little brother right here. Y'all let me get Demon in here too, man. Yeah. Hey, we about to have a good show today, babe. Hey, yeah, Demon. Sir. Hey, this I'm is my here. little brother right here, man. This is my little adopted brother, man. Hey, this is my yeah. little partner right here. Hey, Justin, this is Demon. Demon, this is my little player partner, Justin, man. Nice to meet this you. This young dude right here, man, is a bright individual. Man, he got the gift for Gab. He, ha he has the ability <laughs> to become a politician, but he hates Hello. politicians. No diddy. Hey, Justin, give us some of that good game, man. I mean, I don't even know where to start. Shit, I take don't. your time. Relax. Well, crack I mean, your neck, take your time. If you can, if, if it was one message that you can send out there to these youngsters who are looking for an identity and trying to find their way in the world, 
what's one piece of advice that you'll give to them? Just just one. If you got two, then give us two. I mean, I would say learn how the system works, like how how our government works, because uh -huh. a lot of times in minority communities, such as, you know, the urban communities and those that are in lower uh, economic circumstances seem to be uninformed mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. what the real how, how it works. And so I would say get educated. And the way to get educated is just read these read this right here just uh so i have it on my wall uh let's see i don't know if they'll let me turn my camera around uh, well i guess it won't let me turn the camera oh, let me see if it'll try well, again. right here <laughs> that's the constitution this is the 10 amendments this is the declaration of independence and then i have the constitution on my uh on a um on my uh like it's like a pocketbook but when you learn your rights and you learn the law n nobody can take that away from you and so and then you're 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 now awake and you can now tell other people because a lot of times in the community i hear you know they hate us or they they hear us or they're after us and i'm going okay who's they and then they are <laughs> you know especially like in oh yeah you and you're on a uh, mute bobby yeah. Yeah, sums up with this uh it's, <laughs> this platform. It's, it's okay, man. It's it's gonna work out. You know, everything is in due time. We have a lot of time. I have a lot of time. I'm pretty sure, you know, we put away time for today. So I hope you have a lot of time, um, Mr. Justin Smith, to just continuously uh tell us more about the law because I think that's very, very, very important. And um honestly, my, my opinion is I think they should teach us that for free in elementary. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think, I think, I think instead of um, algebra and all that type of stuff, like they're like, how many people are going to take that to trigonometry and take that on and be doing those type of things in this type of a world? Um, it doesn't even fit our, our, um, our future. You know, what fits our future is learning how to, um, how, how to, especially in the back. In I can't hear you. Dang man, something's going on today. I can't hear you, Bobby. That's crazy. All right, yeah, uh, especially in um the black, the black community. I feel like um you need the law to know how to make your base and to base a community. Like we really don't have communities. Like we really don't um have structure in our neighborhood to stop the little violence and all the things that everybody's talking about. Like. And then once we do that, what are people going to turn to? Like, we haven't built anything um, positive um, in our yeah. neighborhoods, you know, and, and, and we don't have the um, we don't have the resources either. And that's because we're not we're not really following the laws. We're not really following how the government work. We really don't know how to um, explore. Hey, can y'all hear me? Freedom. Yeah, we hear you now, sir. All right. For sure. For sure. All right. Continue. My apologies. Yeah. No, don't worry about it, sir. Yeah, we really don't. We really don't know how to exploit our freedom. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And um, once we get that, we will feel privileged too. Like once you know the law, and once you know um, the limits, it's just like in the streets. Once you know the people that's around you, how you know your hood maneuver, how you know the streets maneuver, how your enemies maneuver. Like you know how to go in between the line and still make your move. Like you know what I'm saying? You know how to um, accomplish things. You know how to hustle, even though it's a nigga right down the street hustling from you. The same thing. Like it's the same way. You feel me? Right. You learn the rules to the game. You know what I'm saying? Or you will be taxed if you go against those rules. So it's always good to know the rules. So once we know the rules, we'll be able to have a, um, a stronger base. Can I respectfully? You know can I respectfully disagree? Why you say that? The reason why I say that because when we become conscious of this system that has kept our ancestors oppressing us in a certain level of servitude and oppress as well, we become yeah. threats to that system. And, and even if we dissect it on a street level, right, when you are outstanding individual from your hood and you abiding by the rules, individuals look at you like a threat and they conspire to get you out the way. Because right. a lot of these dudes want to exist in a cesspool. A lot of these dudes want to exist in such a way to where there's no structure, there's no accountability, it's, 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 it's no discipline, it's basically lawlessness. So when we come and we come in with, now just say just for, just for you and I, right? When we come in with that PJ structure, 
and we living and we banging off of the, the old school teachings and, and, and ways of, you know, abiding by the G code, we become the threat. We become the enemy just by living and doing the shit that, oh shit, he out of here. Just by living and doing the shit that we naturally supposed to do. And I feel like it's, it's, it's like that in the real world too. In the real world, in the real world, when you learn your rights and you begin to stand on those rights, um, prime example, the Black Panther political party, when they learned their rights, we have the right to bear arms, we have the right to do this, we have the right to do that. Then they started a, a government um, terrorist program, because that's basically what it was, to exterminate and, um, um, and, 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 and what, what is the word I'm looking for, assassinate and neutralize the Black Panther political party. And they never fired not one weapon at the police. They, 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 they never said we're anti-government. They were never a terrorist group. They was a group that was about the amelioration and advancements of their people. So when, we, when you exist like that, you become a threat to that system unless they can buy you off and push their agenda off on you and you push their agenda. You can be a solid PJ and a buy by the G code and all that. But if the dude up the street got a little paper because he got a little sack and he know that he can sway you with the money, you ain't no threat because I have a battery in the back. I have I have a mechanism that I can utilize to manipulate this guy. You feel what I'm saying? So that's that's why I, I say I respectfully disagree. Is it important for us to know our laws and all that? But knowing the law, knowing our rights and all that, how have that changed for us in the last 60 years? Um, this is what I'm saying. It's not about... Um... It changed for us, for one, because we don't okay. have, like, segregation and okay. the school system. You've seen mm -hmm. the change, right? Mm -hmm. And the only reason why you've seen the change then and and, and, and um, not to change now, right? Yes, sir. Yes, it's sir. Because exactly what I'm saying, um, they and exactly what you're saying, you're not wrong. Yes, but, sir. But, but you're dealing with it at the lower level. But okay. at the top, the top level is the, the, um, the different unities that you said, right? Yes, the sir. different parties or terrorist groups that you said had mm -hmm. no type of um, political power. They had okay. no structure within the judicial system. They had no okay. structures when it came to mayors, when it came to uh, city councils, when it came to all these different type of people, right? Right. right. And so, so once you learn the law, you learn the structure, you learn the language, you learn the, um, what it is, is called a, um, the process. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, so, sir. So the way you mix your cement, right? Mm -hmm. it, it tells you the longevity of it, what you use, the minerals you use. You feel me? Yes, Even sir. the type of water you use, the minerals you use, the pH balances can tell you how long. So the better you are at mm -hmm. what you're talking about, the better mm -hmm. your base will be. So we yes, create a threshold in the um we're starting to get women um in in into um being judges and things of that in, in these predominantly black neighborhoods or uh, uh um town cities and all that but but the black men haven't gained the black woman respect back yet. You see what I'm okay. saying? So we okay. don't even have we don't even have the um the the gauze over there to even you know swear our own women which we shouldn't need no money to do right you see what i'm right. saying right you cooking you cooking us, yes sir us, only for us you feel me but mm -hmm. we must gain that respect back right yes sir uh, uh, um that uh, um now now we're getting like um a black um vice president we didn't utilize her as the people like we should because we don't know we couldn't utilize you know what I'm saying? Our black president, because we didn't know we couldn't we couldn't we couldn't exploit them like everybody else did. You feel me? And the niggas with the money rather had gave it to Trump. They had gave it to him. You see what I'm saying? All the rappers and all the entertainers and all that. Like, yeah, y'all was at the house chilling, talking about, oh, yeah, we chilling at Obama house. The niggas weren't giving that paper. You see what I'm saying? So and saying, hey, the lobby game, where's the lobby game at? We too busy trying to buy back, um, you know what I'm saying, death row. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we using our billionaire shit for the entertainment, for the play play, but we're not using it in the political stance. Righteous. I, you see I agree. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So we yes, need sir. To be stepping on next. So once we so so now, since we already everywhere else and we already in the game over here, and, and now that if I do change courses because I've been putting my money where I've been putting in the last uh uh, five years, you feel me, since the pandemic, I have to keep that structure. They already killed Nipsey, you feel me? Right. And um, um, that media structure is about to blow up in a minute. Um, um, what he was doing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, and, um, um, and, 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 and this right here, man, um, um, I said all that to say, to say, um, um, man, niggas ain't put... Damn! Man, he was he was cooking. He was cooking. 
All right, he back. He back. We having some technical difficulties, but he cooking. He cooking. Okay, hey, you cooking. Now, what, you what cooking, I, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I was saying was um, now that everybody is so far ahead and came, came back up, we need to start a generation who's going to start off knowing the knowledge of law and how to build up our new black cities. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, because them niggas in Atlanta, they didn't. God damn. Oh, excuse my language. Yeah, so they had to, you know, they trying to come here to, uh, to California and start all over again, where you have uh, 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 more room to do things and, you know what I'm saying, uh, more corruption and more space. Like, you got the north to the south. You see what I'm saying? Right, right, and, right, right, and, right. And, um, it's, all, it's already bullshit here. You feel me? Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's so much bullshit in the street that we're not going to be looking at the bullshit that's going on in the real estate right now. We're not looking at that. We're not mm -hmm. looking at who they're giving this land to. We're not looking at... um. Um, like city um, 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 uh, uh, addendums and shit like that. That's like shit is about to come over. Like you feel right. me? Like right. people don't know that. People don't know that Watts was a was a ranch. Like that mm -hmm. whole area was a ranch. Like they don't right. know the development of it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And how it became what it is right. in order to make it anything better. That was the same thing with TV. Yeah, I, I can give you this and I can give you peace. But after peace, what can I give you? Because the police is still coming in here doing whatever they doing and everybody niggas is still dying and da 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 right. like you see what right. i'm saying we had right. no political power to stand on right and and and, and rather you agree or disagree mm -hmm. facts is facts that's the only thing we don't have i, we I hear you i hear in you the world but we don't have no political power and, and it's going to start because it's, it's because of ignorance because we all woke now right you was talking about you was talking about separation integration and things of that nature right yeah we, we integrated that, we we integrated far too soon before we had an identity of who yeah. we were as a people yeah. we integrated and we lost the yeah. interest of bobby aa a. jones discovering who he yeah. is justin smith right. finding out who he is and, and brother right. dupree finding out who he is and then we right. had the aspirations and to to live the american dream the american dream has always been the black man's nightmare now watch yeah. this you said yeah. something about atlanta atlanta was the only city in our time right in our parents mm -hmm. time where you can mm -hmm. go there tonight and get a job by tomorrow by yeah. next week you can have money for an apartment you can be working you can go out there and become self-sufficient self in a shorter mm -hmm. amount of time than anywhere else in the country what did they do to atlanta to sabotage atlanta they put hiv out there now when we talk about these enclaves where black folks can go and get on their feet they're always sabotaged and then when we talk yeah. about us becoming politicians whether you're a republican a liberal or a democrat if you yeah. don't push their agenda then they're going to silence you so individuals oh my brother gone but individuals like us can never get on these platforms and be who we truly are we have to sell a piece of ourselves we have to sell a piece of ourselves in order to fit their narrative of who a black man should be Yeah. You got me. I, I understand. Are you done, or should I? Can I? No, nah, continue. Hey, Mr. Justin, Smith. man, I want to hear something yeah. from you too, you man. Want to say anything, Mr. Smith? So I just wanted to comment on what you said about um, the like people aren't awake to like what's happening in real estate and like like land development and like where things are going. I feel like that's important to know your community too, and know the stakeholders in the community because here in vegas i mean i don't I'm not familiar with watts but i know in vegas there are people that are protecting urban land because they understand exactly what we're talking about and they're black actually they're black i'm not going to mention any names but um there are some serious stakeholders in the community that are trying to i mean well you can look it up this it, it, there's programs in california it's called the uh choice neighborhood promise which is basically like uh your congressman or city councilman they're on board with protecting the land because they understand that you know as cities develop urban land is the most is prime real estate because it's in the middle of the city so mm -hmm. whether it's businesses homes anything urban land is always um it's always the highest uh in value it, and it goes up it never it never it will never uh go down but mm -hmm. there are people that, you know, are trying to buy back the, the community, trying to buy back, uh, you know, land so that we can own something, you know, so that we're not we're not leaving where we were raised, but we can, you know, own it. 
uh, there was a song by Jay Z. Uh, it's called O.J. Simpson. But in that song, <laughs> yes, sir. in that song, I mean, he mentioned basically like you know we're, we're over here fighting over the, a neighborhood that we're renting, mm-hmm. you know, and and the drug money that we're making, we're not even renting it, you know. He's like, well, you know, you need to take your drug money and buy the neighborhood. Like that's how you rent it. Like he he's giving you game in the song. Now I'm not a fan of it, but I'm just saying like with the resources that we're given we're not even executing with what we have you know so i mean to also touch on what you were saying about the um the um what you said you said they right you said they they sabotage uh things and i agree they sabotage it however one of the things that we can do as people is Mm -hmm. get in the positions of power and uh use our vote because our votes count they actually do matter and you know the way that they get the black vote is they sell you your oppression so they sell you your oppression they you allow the media to spoon feed you what we're going through but it's not that we don't know what we're going through we know what we're going through we're going through (laughs) rough times but when you when you allow the media to spoon feed it to you in the way that they that they do they get the reaction they get the fear it's it, what they do is they this is it's a three step it's a three steps that they do and you can watch it every election year they do it it's three steps they create a sense of unease mm. they create a sense of unease they um they um it's a uh, create a sense of unease uh um a plan and then a and then a pathway to get there mm. so you basically they, what they do is they create a sense of unease, right? They 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 instill fear, and it's always due to race or or uh, it's either racist. They they always use racism, and they use they use racism, and then I, I I'm saying they, but it's the Democratic Party people who have an agenda, uh, political <clears throat> agenda. They use racism to a, incite fear. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, um, now now do just the Democrat Party have an agenda, or do um all parties have an agenda? Both parties have an agenda, but and, when you look at the Democrats, um, 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 what is the purpose or what is their agenda of each one? What is the agenda of, of e- e- either or? Are, are they different? So it's funny they, because it's like are they it's like two different goals is what I'm asking. Are they fighting two different goals? I'll explain it like this: You have an animal, but it's like two horns on a bull. That's how I look at it. So it's like it's the same. It's a bull with two horns. So it's like hmm. it's the same, but they riding the same bull. So that mean they going the same. They're places, the same. Right? They're on the same team. So 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 no matter what side they on, they're going in the same direction at all times. Pretty much. You so it's basically saying? saying they both got the same agenda, just different ways of executing. So I said that to say this that. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like um, that right there is is part of the system, and I don't think that affects just black people. That affects everybody. So, okay. um, 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 when we're speaking on 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 that yeah, note, yeah. that 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 brightens the, the conversation. You see what I'm saying? And then it's, it's it's aspects of that we can't talk about, right? Because it's things that they have that we don't have. Like, and 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 I'm not just talking about. Um, I'm not just talking about I'm not just talking about the white people. I'm talking about um, the Mexican people, uh, the Asian people, um, um, even the people that's like from Hades, the people that's from like uh, 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 um, the West Indies, the people that's from Jamaica, the people like that's from Africa and the continent of there, the people that's from Europe. Like, Hawaii, everybody so. have somewhere else. Everybody have somewhere else to go. But but the black man, but but these niggas, but us. Right. We can't go nowhere else and hold substance. You see what I'm saying? So, so, mm-hmm. so, what we have to do is realize that 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 we actually have a piece of this. A piece of this is ours, right? And mm-hmm. then we have to take the steps into um, saying we not we don't need rep, right, like reparations. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No, we, we oh, taking my. this. No, 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 we taking this. Like this is black. Like when you come over here, like we know, like this is this is uh, black America. Like this. Them niggas is running shit over there. Right. See what I'm saying? We need a quarter right. of America to let them know that. And we need allyism with another country. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's a lot of things that we need. And law is going to establish these uh, amendments. 
and right. allyisms, and you get to see um, when you start looking at law, you start looking at history. And when you mm -hmm. start looking at history, you start looking at truths. And when mm -hmm. you start looking at truths, you start looking at language. And when you mm -hmm. start looking at language, you get to looking at understanding. You feel Righteous. me? And once Righteous. you gain that type of understanding, the world is at your feet. Is it really yeah. though? Even for a nigga from the because this is the type of this is the type no of shit feet. that got Johnny Cochran killed. This is the type of shit that got Martin Luther King killed. This yes, is the last speech he was telling us. Like, you see what I'm saying? We going for, and we going, that million men that marched is going to be a million men city. Right. So if I turn that million men march into a city and we just took threshold of everything in that surroundings, then what? I think that's the, the key. Minute, that's, that's the key. What you're saying right now is the key. Because even Kanye West said that America is for sale. Now we have to buy acres upon acres of land and establish our cities. What's already ours. Okay. The white people of, of America had their chance. Now let the niggas of America have their chance to get our little piece. Especially if we minority. If They're we not going to do that. You got to understand these Caucasian individuals, they'd rather burn down a whole ship if they can't be the captain. Yeah, when we as black folks start running and saying, not 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 taking away from um, Mr. Smith's message, but it doesn't matter if you Democrat or if you uh, a Republican or if you you know whatever you are, not you know what I'm saying. Like right now, it's it's about you being black and what's best for you and your future. You see what I'm saying? Because we not gonna see the change. See, these things took hundreds and hundreds of years, and we talking about the struggle and all this and all that. And the nigga that my mama whooped my ass, but I ain't never had a whip on my back. I ain't never had to watch my woman get raped in front of me. I and I'm and, and from coming from the ghetto, like some ruthless niggas. Like I know some ruthless niggas, and I have never had to worry about my wife being raped in front of me, whether we had shelter or not, whether I had a gun or not. <clears throat> But they had to change those you dynamics. So, they had no, to they change those. Not. Yes, no, they, they did. did. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. The, the, the more and more of the enslaved, those who were in servitude, was becoming mm -hmm. conscious. More and more mm -hmm. was establishing these um, revolts. So they mm -hmm. said, "No, we got to change the way that we're doing this." And it's a saying that says, "Take the shackles off their hands and put them on their mind." We're already yeah. in servitude by our fleshly desires and the things that we pursue when we start buying into the American oh, dream. Man. So oh, if they if, if they continue to rape that. our women and use our kids as gator bait and separate our families and whatnot, then we have no buy into the system. White, but white when you believe that you can kids, live just as good as these Caucasians at that point in time, you have something to aspire for. No, 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 no. I don't believe I know. Because okay. I lived in Rancho Cucamonga right next to some white people that didn't even have it as good as I had it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm talking about? I'm listening. They didn't have, the, didn't have the job as good as the parents that I had jobs. They could never hold up to it. You see what I'm saying? And I'm listening. That, I'm that listening. was considered the suburbs. It was no niggas. Mm -hmm. You feel me? In a five to six block radius all the way around me. I can go anywhere. I can go two miles and not see no niggas. Mm -hmm. Like, literally. You feel me? So um this was before friday this was before all that you see what i'm saying so mm -hmm. um um yeah we can we we just so caught up in race we just so caught up in we not getting a fair trial we so caught up in the nigga ain't never even tried a nigga don't even know what it is to just do we it. not getting a fair shot no, if we was we getting a fair li what? okay what? listen okay 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 life ain't been fair for three four generations exactly life ain't been fair since day one of a black man on america right mm -hmm. so 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 when acknowledging I it mean, and calling yeah. it out isn't crying we no, can acknowledge it and call it you, no it's not long as you're you're long as you're being proactive and you're making efforts to make your your life the quality of your life and your 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 offsprings better then you can't you can't say that is crying about saying hey the system isn't fair but this is how you navigate through it this is what we have to do this is the steps that must be done so calling yeah. it out and acknowledging it isn't crying that's just stating the so, obvious so fact what was, Lewis, what was what was uh, uh huey lewis all the people in any revolutionary act that we've had from the 70s and the 60s and the you see what i'm saying what were mm -hmm. they doing they was fighting back against the system 
no, through education. It out. They didn't fight back or nothing. How could they? How could they fight back when we living in what we living in right now today? Look at today. By what you just said, they learned those laws that you was just talking no, about. That, no, they didn't. They didn't learn the right laws because if they would have learned it the right way, then that means mm -hmm. they would have stepped back, right? You must mm -hmm. retreat once you learn, right? Once I, once I pump fake. That's mm -hmm. what a pump fake is. And I seen you move, or or if I stalemate you just to get in you, right? I just want to get close to you, but I might grab you. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In war, sometimes you have to um um allow a a a a, a, a controlled burn. So once you seen what tactics they were coming with, and you had mm -hmm. enough people that knew the law because they showed they ass, and you had these extraordinary minds come out of nowhere, right? Mm -hmm. You should have mm -hmm. never brought guns in. You should have backed up. And learn how to write writs. Learn how to not go and do demonstrations on the street. No, mm -hmm. that's not what changes laws. That's not what okay. makes shit move. You feel me? All mm -hmm. that uh, Black Lives Matter, uh, uh, Mexican Lives Matter, White Lives Matter, Asian Lives, all that making and going out there and doing all that, what they call peaceful protest, that don't make nothing move. That right. is just something that was used as propaganda to all mm -hmm. of this, right? To those mm -hmm. who follow, let them follow. With so many people in the world, some go and follow the bullshit. And so if we right. put enough bullshit out in just one good way, and but we got seven bullshit ways, everybody thinks they're going about it the right way, but it's only really still one way to do it. And it's been the same way since the beginning of the time. And that young man showed you where it come from. He showed you the constitution. He showed you, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Your amendments, he showed you these things. So we start here first and then we work our way up and we get to learn, um, you know what I'm saying, legislation. Mm -hmm. We need to learn how to build a government. And mm -hmm. we get to learn, you feel me, um, that, that, that no, I can't, well, I'm wasting all my time worried about the president. I need to be worried about my mayor. I need to be worried about my city council. I need to be, you know, like most of these niggas don't even know Sacramento is the capital of California. Like, That's niggas crazy. don't know that and really been in California their whole life. Like, they don't even really know where to go get shit done at. They don't know where it's right. at. Right. You see what I'm saying? And it's not in your neighborhood. You see what I'm saying? It's not none mm -hmm. of that. So, you know, once we learn these things, man, you know, and we start expressing it in these forms and we start expressing in everything we do and we keep a smile mm -hmm. on our face, you feel what I'm right. saying? And we know um, that uh, that shows us that now I know something higher than me instead of me always feeling like I'm the high because mm -hmm. this knowledge is bigger than me. Mm -hmm. See, the more smarter you get, you get to know that, wow, this is only a little piece of it. You feel me? Because right. the right. system is not bad, it's not good. It's the way that the people that know the system and know the rules of the system utilize the system. And you don't know it enough to know because there's so many different pieces to it. What piece are you going to fit in at? Damn. Hold on, let me bring him back in. Yeah, because you need the system. Like, there's no way that right. like, you don't need policing. There's no way that you don't need government. There's no way that you don't need, you feel me? And all that is out of everybody's hands now. Let it go. Leave it alone. Like, just try to. So, make you say we need good. police? So, you yeah, don't you believe do. in community policing? Uh, I mean, where are you going to take them to? What jail are you going to take them to? Niggas can't even, like, we politic. Like, it's game bang. Like, no, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. You need something. You need something without that. You need something that that's not because um, emotions. Emotions run deep. And then um, if my family rape, whoop -de -whoop -whoop, I might not be the first police on the scene. Right. Either rather, I think he wrong or he right. I just right. think on politically, family po po family politics is stronger than street politics sometimes. Right. Right. right you know right. what I'm saying? So right. You know, in in order to remain real, you need that. Right. And plus, we that's it's going to be too much time. I'm trying to learn all that. It's like black police and black, you know what I'm saying? That's really mm -hmm. good people. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. It's really good police out there. You know what I'm saying? Because if not, I know I'd be dead. All the other niggas be dead. Right, right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Um, It's, you know, or come home. Even the niggas that came home. You know what I'm saying? You think it ain't good people out there? It's a lot of lifers that's home right now. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So we ain't going to sit right there and just act like the, the bad outweighs the good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't even, you know, the, the cup is always, you know what I'm saying, half full. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Because it, it runs. God damn. Hold on. I'm about to bring him back on. There we go. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know? Right. So it's, 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 it's always that, man. You know? It's right. always um, what we learn.
And it don't mm-hmm. matter what you learn. It's all the same. It's just written in different languages, so it got different trans- uh, translations. Right, but right, it's all right, it's right. the same story over and over and over again. You just don't never read it for yourself. Mm-hmm. You just always let people narrate it for you. Mm-hmm. And you know, if you read it for yourself and intend to learn, then you will you will understand that all the answers is in any any anything you pick up. Any mm-hmm. anything good, anything with a positive purpose that you pick up will give you the same game over and over again. Mm-hmm. You feel me? From the secret to the 48 Laws of Power, to, you feel me, to mm-hmm. to, to the Book of War, with all them different things that people be picking up, thinking that they picking up something um, that's that's opening and enlightening their eyes and all that and all this. Those right. are all things that you can't even change, because if you really believed in it and you really knew it, like you say you did, you would know that it was already written and it's and, and supposed to go how it's supposed to go. So what are we going to do with the time we have? You feel me? It's okay so is that to be the it, bad guy. So does, does that... This joint keep going on. So does that have anything to do with like predestination or anything of that nature, what you just said? Yeah, life is predestined. All right. If life wasn't predestined, um, deja vu wouldn't be a word at all, right? I mean, I'm listening to your narrative, Ken folks. You know what I mean? I'm I'm listening. I'm I'm soaking up game. Yeah, by definition, it's just deja vu. Enough people have had deja vu. That means you've seen something to come. Okay. That means you were destined to be there. You see what I'm saying? You know, okay. I can move the pawns around in my life and and, and... I missed something, Bobby. Sorry. No, nah, you yeah. all good. You all good, family. We just talking about yeah. predestination right now. He say you believe that life right. is predest predestined, but if life is predestined, that means that you I Justin and anybody that's listening to this um this broadcast at the current moment have no free will. That we are mere actors in the grand architect of the universe movie just acting out our role. I don't I don't I, I don't feel like that. Um when you're speaking to me, you're speaking to a person who who moves in his purpose now. Okay. You feel me? So 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 once you have a purpose, everything that you do is predestined. You see what I'm saying? And all of you that can't see elucidate, your lies, elucidate. Elucidate, because that became convoluted for me. So, like, you say that life is predestined, right? That means yeah. that everything is preordained before we came into this physical existence of this of this realm. That everything mm-hmm. was already predestined, pre-planned. But then mm-hmm. you say that for you, it's not predestined because of what reason and whatnot? No, no, no. I didn't say it. Was, I, I didn't. I never said it wasn't predestined for me. I said most okay. definitely, it's predestined for me. Okay, because you're moving in your purpose. Hello, world. Yes, sir. I got you. I got you. Yes, sir. So, um, yeah, even the things that is not in your purpose is predestined for you because it's going to happen. That's what they call um, Murphy's Law, I believe, right? What's going to be is going to be. Right? Which means if there is a substance already there in order to do the calculations of it will be. Mm -hmm. It already have to have a calculation. It already have to have something there, right? That's just basic knowledge you feel me okay okay so um um let me break it down in layman's term um um man man kills uh uh man's uh dad right and 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 and, and, and um uh, a man is still in mom's belly um um kid gets out um to to uh kill man that killed dad okay so something that happened before he was born shaped his whole future because oh man that's layman speaking you see what I'm saying so when mm-hmm. you already are born into something you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. yeah everything that comes with it is destined for you you see what I'm saying but but depending on what your purpose is when you start seeing that, like when my purpose was to be a bad guy and my purpose was to be a game banger, that's what I got. There's joint tripping. Brother yeah, Justin, so, how you doing, brother? Good, good. Um, I mean, I have some stuff to say about that because it's like, I mean, I don't believe in like predestination. I mean, I do to a certain extent, right? Because, mm-hmm. for example, if a higher being that's above our realm 
has authority over us, then mm -hmm. naturally, whatever his words are, then they're going to find fulfillment in our lives. So there are certain people who are destined for that because mm -hmm. in the Bible, it says that there are people that were chosen by God's grace mm -hmm. that God allowed to experience perfection on this earth. So I, I agree with that. I agree that there are people that will achieve a, a certain level of perfection mm -hmm. and that, uh, that was only constituted by God's grace. So, I mean, I agree. Right. Right. But I mean, like, I mean, if, if we use that logic, right, then that would mm -hmm. mean that if we use that logic of predestination um, and that in a sense that like it's it was destined for me to um, right, like, uh, how could I say it? Like, like if I do evil, it's not destined for me to do evil because that's not God's will. You know, that's mm -hmm. not that's not the creator's will that destined that to happen. But how but, do we know? that doing evil is not the will of the most high God. How do we know that for certain? Well, it's because uh, we know there are subjective things in our mm -hmm. life that mm -hmm. we don't agree with, right? Like subjectively, I might feel, I might have certain certain moral code that you not have. That's subjective, okay. but okay. if there's an, uh, there's objective, meaning like, like uh, truth, like truth of, right? Mm -hmm. That would mean that that's how we know for sure right so objectively we understand that we understand certain laws they, and they don't change so it's the same with good we understand that good technically evil doesn't exist because it's just like cold heat exists but cold doesn't exist because it's just the absence of heat like light i just noticed some <laughs> let me just interject real quick <laughs> Because your lips a few minutes ago was just as ashy as mine's. And then you went off camera oh, and yeah, came back with some lubricated lips. Let me hide my lips. Yeah, yeah, looking at the lips. Hell no, nah, this nah, thing nah, is crazy, nah. cuz. No, but you're... Hey, now, like, continue, like, man. You did, too. Uh, you did, too. Back. Juicy, didn't they? Wow. I was, like, I was like... You, you rent in the gas long. station? <laughs> no, I have chaps right here. Oh, uh, wow. I need to find me some motherfucking hey, chapstick, man. Hey, I forgot man. to mention no hey, diddy. Yeah. Ain't that ain't that the new phrase that you got to say? No diddy. No diddy. Yeah, huh? no, diddy. yeah no diddy, man. We in, no Cali we in California, man. Hey, now, nah, but continue, continue. I mean, yeah, but I mean, uh, to a certain extent, it's true. There are it is there are certain things that are predestined, but like for example, we have authority to technically go against destiny you huh? can go against because you can go you can go against you can go I, against i respectfully but, i respectfully uh, uh uh disagree just based on um you it's laws there are already laws when you get here you see what i'm saying it's it's um Are you at chick-fil-a man I don't know, but somebody's saying you better not give me that thin, sweet and sour sauce and give me the body. <laughs> yeah, I think Cub pulled up the Chick Fil A. <laughs> hey, no, but continue, Eddie. Yeah, because um, there are already predained laws, and you're not even oh able God. to vote until you get um a certain age. So, so your whole life you have no control over. You feel me? And then, other than that, when have you invented anything new in life? When have you invented any different type of lifestyle? When have you invented? any different type of place to go in life or, or a new dance or, or a new activity or a new sport. Or if you haven't done anything like that, you're predestined to come out and play basketball, football, play, whatever they have for you already. Since mm. we're talking about the days and all that, instead of talking about we, all we have for you already. Oh, when you come into this world, is what we have. We mm -hmm. all are part of this world and we all have an opportunity because we all pay taxes. Are we all hustle? Are we all... You see what I'm saying? We all have something to give. You feel me? So whatever you give into your community, you feel me, is what we have when you born. You see what I'm saying? So if we don't we don't have nothing new to offer, then we and we don't have nothing new to talk about, and we don't have nothing new, you know what I'm saying? Uh and purpose and new and vision. You see what I'm saying? And we keep shunning people like like we say the yays and you know what I'm saying, the other people and even speaking on Diddy, like how um 
right or wrong. You feel me? Sometimes um, um, we don't need to be the ones to uh, climb and attack on our own people. You know what I'm saying? There's enough people doing that for them. You know what I'm saying? So we don't need to have a, a, so many black influencers always knocking down a nigga like this for the whole. Oh, skin folks like, ain't kin folks though. No, nah, yes. Because you got, the, you got these individuals that get into these positions and they American don't do anything niggas. for the people. Look, how you gonna do something for the people when we can't we can't come together to make anything new? One man can't do nothing. Ten men can't do nothing. A hundred men can't do nothing when we're talking about one billion. I mean, if you go in according uh, according to the scriptures, the I, the I, Yeshua changed the multitude of individuals and things. So yeah, one man can have time, a major effect upon a lot of individuals. At, at that time, and we and we are speaking um, in terms of evolution and mm -hmm. um, thousands of years, right? Mm -hmm. um, um, you know, men living longer and certain things like that, or men living this shorter life and things of that nature. However, um, if we're talking truths of, um, 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 we're not talking when we're speaking of multitudes. We're not speaking of billions of people. Okay. At, at that time, multitudes were just you know maybe hundreds or maybe thousands. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't the amount of people that we are trying to encourage. It then coming from scratch and encouraging people and coming from people that have been um, genetically um, and, and physically, you know, um, um, being um, 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 transformed into the people that we are today. And that's what makes us different, right? And that's the thing that they hold on us. They, they know us more than we know us because they actually, like, made us in the lab, like, and made it us and did all um, to make to make us a uh, critical think faster to make us own the nature own natural they had mm -hmm. no choice but to drug us with the things that would slow us down see mm -hmm. and the thing is it, the thing to keep you stressed right like you said the stress factor and everything like that and it, and it happens to everybody is because of evolution something that god put here everything evolves you see what I'm saying? Right. But if I keep on giving you the drugs, you see what I'm saying? Then even as you evolving, you're going to keep on doing more and more and more Thank of you. whatever it is that you were doing. Like, that's why so many people had got obese. And then people start being so obese that now we got BBWs and things of that nature when even niggas is getting muscles and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, um, because they can't even work out and be skinny. They can't even work out and get six packs even as hard as they work out because you're feeding so much of the poison. You see what I'm saying? That it won't allow your body to evolve in the right places. So now we have a lot of people with cancers. We have a lot of people getting sick and things of that nature. Like, look how many people around you is just falling out because these cells and these membranes are evolving, but the things that they are feeding you, like with the sunlight, like with the tones of the music, like with the colors and the UVs of the, of the television, uh, with the with the cell phone and things of that different nature that you're getting all the time, the um the smells, you feel what I'm saying? The, but um, isn't this some similar? Of the through your eyes, you feel me? Isn't all this these things are true. Isn't this similar? What you're saying now, isn't this similar to what Justin said earlier when he said they sell you your own oppression? I don't know if it's oppression because I ain't never been a slave. Only when I went to prison and I mm -hmm. had to conform. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But other than that, I've always had my, even in the home, um, it was either I do what I want to do and, and, and have the consequences, right? Or, mm -hmm. or you feel me? I, I, I conform in, into doing what it needs to be done. You see what I'm saying? So um, I don't know what he means by oppression. Like, it has he ever been kidnapped and, oh, and put in no, a position what I mean that he never wanted to be? No, what I mean by oppression is like, like, um, it, like it, you're right. Like basically, like we need to upgrade our something language. that isn't some, something that isn't happening. So like, there's nothing that's oppressing me at the moment from someone else because at the end of the day, there's there's no laws that are in place right now that affect me from achieving the same thing as any other race. There isn't now. When I, I say don't, oppression, I don't, I, it, it depends on what level you're chasing. I mean, we're talking about law. We're talking about law. Yeah, we're talking like, about you law. You can say like it's there may be law. someone at the bank that doesn't want to give me a loan or something, or yeah, they're after they're my it credit away or right something. Now. But yeah, well, they're giving it well, that's away. What I, that's what I'm saying though. So, so when it comes to laws, laws, there's not there's no law in place. There's no policy. In place. Place that uh, 
play. Correct. So blocking me is so like there's a false sense of no equity. Like oh, there's no there's there's nothing in place for me to succeed because of what I was raised in or my environment. Right? Okay. That's... I need certain things, certain because it's like it's like mental barriers that 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 we have. No, Men, no. it's all mental. It's not Every, physical every anymore. everything is in the book. Everything is at your hand, right? Everything they even got AI apps now and everything that'll do the work for yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Um, those are excuses of the nineties. Mm. See, we're in yeah. 2024, and we're still using the same cries, 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 wine, wines, 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 and haven't had enough time to utilize what we have today. It, um, we have to wait till at least like 2040 until we can talk about um, the oppressions of the 2020s. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So, so these are the mind states that you're looking at because you're looking at people that's looking at the 2000s and 60s. They are already on paperwork, legitimately have things set up that that's going to go like that. You see what I'm saying? To benefit them in 2060. I don't think that the world's going to get to that because, I mean, the reason why I say that is because, you know, in order for our economy to boost, we have mm -hmm. to go to war. So, okay. like, war, war creates... Like it's war is really profitable, actually. Like, um, it boosts the economy, even, um, um, it, it's like a reset. So, I mm -hmm. mean, but the war mm. that we're headed toward is like World War Three, it's not like World War, like, it's not gonna be like a, I mean, even, even it may be, it, it may be chemical, you know, they have chemical bombs that can rot your flesh. Like, it's not yeah. like it doesn't have to be a nuclear bomb, it could be just a, a flesh eating, uh, chemical that mm -hmm. they just. But like it's like a nuclear chemical war, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, th I mean, I, these are all just theories and stuff. But like in the meantime, I feel like what we can do as as people that live in the same community is try to change it one person at a time. And I believe the way to do that is by educating one person at a time, but creating a platform for real education, not like theories and stuff. Like we're really educating you on like like the. Uh, like what what he's saying is like language we're, we're educating you on language we're educating you on systems and mm -hmm. and how to actually change something you know like i feel like in our community what we do a lot is we just talk about what's going on but we can actually change it and it and it's literally and uh, it's it's as easy as getting signatures you know like people don't understand like if you sign up if you if you put something on a ballot that that's going to get voted for. And then you educate people on, if you don't like something in your community, you can vote it out of your community because this is your community. You live here. But mm -hmm. the reason why the same things keep getting passed or different things getting passed is because you can only go based off of who's voting. So we, we have, we have power. It's just, we're not using it. It's almost like, um, when you don't think that you're like, it's an elephant. I'll use an elephant as an example. You know, from a young uh, from a young age, they they put chains on the elephant, these big chains, and they tie it to a tree. And they, I mean, as a as a young elephant, it's not able to do anything. But there isn't anything powerful enough. An elephant could pull a semi truck. You would need thousands of pounds. I mean, a, I mean, you would just need to wrap that thing up in in huge uh, like a harness in order for it to to not escape from uh you know a chain. You would need a huge chain, but I say that to say because uh, w when it gets older, it was so used to that chain being on it that it doesn't even try to get out of the rope. You can literally put a string around it, and 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 you know they're not they're not smart enough to uh, realize that it's not a press. It's not it's not in chains anymore. You could easily break free of this. You could just walk. Just take a step and you're gone. So it's but the, the mental conditioning was so effective to where. You don't exactly. have to put chains on them. It's the mental conditioning. And then exactly. us, we have so been on the mental conditioning for over 400 years. You feel me? Exactly. Yeah. But we don't even need to talk about it anymore. Why? Because I, and it's not even like, and I, and I, I tell this to my dad, I tell this to my, to, to ever during that time, they're so stuck in that time. They want justice and they want all this stuff. They, and it's like, okay, look, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen. And the mm -hmm. way that it happens is you educate. I mean, for example, the people that that were slaves, our aunts, our our great great great, our great 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 grandparents, they're dead now. There, there's mm -hmm. no one to tell that story anymore, unless you wrote a book. 
So those mm-hmm. people no longer exist on this planet to give us. We're just regurgitating what we think they went through. But there's mm-hmm. no one in the world right now that's that old that can give us what it really was and how it really was and what they were saying and what happened and the real the real story we don't have that all we have is um we have oral oral like uh stories and we may mm-hmm. have but back then there was no book they didn't have uh they they weren't writing oh mm-hmm. i mean we only have like frederick Douglass or something like that but mm-hmm. he was more on the revolutionary side he wasn't on the side of like i was actually a slave in the field doing this right but i mean now you have it you now you have another generation right they're mm-hmm. Their parents' kids were, which are our grandparents. So our grandparents' parents, they were like first generation, like, like, the they were like the last generation to kind of go through that slavery time. They they saw it changing with Abraham Lincoln and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But um, now, but our parents were raised in seg. I mean, our grandparents were raised in segregation. That's how close. That's how close. It was only sixty years ago. Right. You know, that's how close. Uh, you know, technically my dad, my dad was born in 1961. So like right around the time where the late sixties, when it stopped, he was born, you know, he was maybe a, a, a toddler, but he's stuck in that time because it still was systematic. It, it, instead of it being like law, like only blacks can enter. Now it's like those people still have that heart, but now we live in a whole new, like you, you can say like, we're millennium past that. We're millennium past that. When people say there's this, there's that, that's literally an agenda that people are using to keep us mentally oppressed okay. because there's nothing stopping us from going and getting a credit card and building our credit. There's nothing stopping us from going and 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 it's and honestly when you look into other cultures, we need to we need to learn from them. I mean, look at the look at those that 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 are coming to America such as the the Latin community. They're coming mm-hmm. to America to get a better opportunity, but look at what they do. They don't have a problem with sharing a space with multiple family members so that they can progress themselves, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, look at the Asians. Mm-hmm. They, 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 they live a minimalistic lifestyle, but in our community, since we, since, you know, uh, when you look at the people that we look up to and, and, we don't hold them accountable. We don't hold each other accountable and say, Hey, let's stop doing, put down the guns, put down the weed. You know what I'm saying? Put down the, the, stop listening to that rap music. You know what I'm saying? Hold each other accountable and go, look, look, (laughs) look at what we're doing. And let's mimic. I mean, there's, there's good in every race that you look at, you know, the Mexicans, Mm -hmm. we know that they work hard. They work Mm -hmm. hard and they, and they, and they stick together. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I could be a Mexican and 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 never meet one, and go up to him and be like, "Hey, how's it going? You're Rasa." They they say Rasa. That's 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 you're a part of the race. Your family. They, they <laughs> right. consider they consider people of their race family. Chinese people. I mean, they they stick together, but they live a life below their means. You know what I mean? They they drive right. cars, but they have equity. They have they they own stuff. They they have ownership. You know, but. That's one thing that I feel like we need to do as as a, as a as a as a community of people who are who are in a lower uh, equity uh my, we're in a minority minority state but mm-hmm. at the same time still coexist and and don't be like uh how could I say it like don't be like racist in a sense like don't just be don't be so pro black that we're like you know we're not racist racist, like we're not you know, like, but we we have to get toward that, and I, I really want to create a platform that we can that we can create for that type of movement. You know, mm-hmm. and you know, I know how to do it, man. I know how to do it. I know okay. how to form a nonprofit. I know how to do that type of stuff. But oh, oh, it it I, really takes like vetting the individuals that we uh, vetting the individuals that we. Uh, bring into it you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. yeah. I'm, and, I'm, I'm, and and no go ahead yeah. but yeah that that yeah he keeps cutting out but that's that's all i wanted to say like you know like we just need to uh you know there, there was a band that i knew uh I, i'm not really in big contact with them but one thing that he told me was um he has a tight knit tight knit group but he vets the people that he that he gets into his circle because mm-hmm. if you let the wrong person in the circle, 
that's the end of it, you know? It's like uh right. it's like the in the Black Panthers, you know, there was like a Judas Iscariot in the Black Panthers. Right. You know, Black Panthers stood for good. I mean, don't get me wrong, they they had ways on 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 how they were trying to achieve it, which mm -hmm. In the legal confines of like you know their rights, they had right, but um, they just scared the fuck out of white America, bro. Exactly. Like like Demon yeah, exactly. was saying, they was too aggressive with their approach instead exactly. of being subtle and getting these individual victories yes. leading up yes. to a bigger one and saying, okay, this yes. is who we are. They were too yes. they they were too premature and showing that they knew this and they had this amount of power that they that they thought was power at that point in time. But I hear you though, I hear you. And one thing I'll say is it's it's just really challenging to gather up a lot of, and for a lack of better words, a lot of black people to get them on board. It is. It's 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 challenging because we're just so disenfranchised, we're, we're just, separated, the, yeah, disunified, we're so, we're so separated. We're so yeah, and we're mentally so conditioned. Yeah. No race on the face of this planet has been mentally conditioned and castigated as much as we have. Yeah. And then if you know but, anything about the the autonomic nervous system, you know that trauma can get trapped in the body. So things oh, that some of our some of our ancestors have been to, been through, have it can become phobias for us, and we're wondering why we're afraid of water, or we're wondering why we're afraid of this because the autonomic nervous system has been damaged from generations ago, and we inherit these fears and these phobias and whatnot. So that's something that we also got to, um, you know, look into too, developing our own identities and healing from the traumas that we personally went through and that we have been through generationally, but continue. So, I mean, I agree. And so like, you know, each individual person has to really search within themselves and go, Hey, you know, um, me personally, I used to believe in racism. I used to believe that racism existed, but recently I, I changed my perspective and I go, no, it doesn't exist anymore fuck, because man. let me explain. Let me explain why. Because if uh, uh, color, is it is it color or is it right or wrong? Is it is it like, OK, people say racism is I'm racist toward a specific group of people. Right. But if you look, if you really look at and, and if you look at what that is, mm -hmm. it's it's a construct that people made for their own gain. People use racism for their own gain. But if you look at it, it's it's wrong. It's just wrong. It's not racism. It's not, oh, I'm I'm against this color. No, you're just you're just wrong. It's it's wrong. It's not racism. I, you're just wrong. But is it really wrong though? Because when you really research some of the roots of racism, it's always for the preservation pre preservation of a specific group. Hispanics come over yeah, here, they yeah. create an economic system and they share the economic system with their people. Asians come over here, create an economic system and they share an economic system with their people. If you're not part of their people, if you're not part of that, that ethnic group or nationality, then you can't indulge in our benefits. Uh, we will perceive that as racism, but they perceive it as preserving their race. So I'm saying racism in the sense where... Um, certain people don't have the same rights or, or the same uh, justice system toward uh, a specific group of people. Like, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times people will say, because uh, I treat someone bad, like, like say I treat a white woman bad, they're going to go, Oh, he was racist. That's not racism. Oh yeah. That's not racism. So like, that's what I'm saying. Like people are using that term specifically for certain things when it's when it's relevant so uh how can i use it as an example there's there's times where people say racist say say things are racist so that it can spark uh it can spark trouble i'll cry controversy so they right pretty much yeah thank you so much but what i'm trying to say is that that uh what what that 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 word that construct that people are Hey, your joint, your joint tripping. Hey, you froze, my guy. Hey, you froze up. 